I'm John from Whitewater Vans, coming to you from inside this partially built Sprinter to talk about the Cuddy composting toilet. This toilet is going to be used in this van, but I've been testing it here in the shop and at home for the last few weeks. And there's some great things about it and a couple things I might change. Let's take a look, dive into the details. This, my friends, is the Cuddy Composting Toilet from Compo Closet, and we're gonna dive in and take a quick look at some of the amazing, great features of this, and a couple things that maybe aren't my favorite. First of all, nice and square base, very secure, doesn't ever feel like it's gonna tip over, and long enough that it's easy and comfortable to sit on, very comfortable seating area, but also small enough and light enough that you can carry it anywhere, um, take it outside if you wanna use it, and it tucks in nicely to pretty much anywhere in the van. So great size and footprint. It's also kind of designed with a hinge system that allows it to go right up against a cabinet or something like that and still have the doors and everything function properly. So really nice from that perspective. Inside here we have, it's a separating toilet. So when you go poop and pee, the pee is separated into the pee side, the poo goes into the poo side, the poo side has this flap over the drop zone. Easy to open, accesses the drop zone down below, but when it's closed up, it really contains a lot of the odors that are in there. So you can use this for pee all the time. You can open and close numerous times and you don't get any wafty odors that come out of that. And when it is time to go poop, you simply open the flap, you do your business, you give it a quick agitation with a manual agitator that's right up front. I love the manual agitator because it means I don't have to have this plugged in to use the full features of the toilet. And then I close it up and that's it. One of the things that isn't my favorite is that you do kind of have to sit down to pee. The pee hole is kind of right up in the very front here. And as a guy, if you stand to pee, you're gonna be kind of hitting back into this area and there's a bit of a splatter. It's kind of a flat surface. So, um, I mean, it's not flat, but there's splatter that comes from that. So you kind of have to sit down to pee using this toilet. Not a huge deal. Uh, if you do sit down, it works great. The other wonderful thing about this is the light. As that pee container fills up, uh, when it gets full, the light turns on and it tells you it's time to go empty that pee container. Inside, we have a very easy to remove deposit bucket with the agitator that's inside there. You simply cover this with a plastic bag, dump it out, and put it back into the system, go to dispose of the plastic bag. Super easy to remove, large container, uh, holds quite a bit. And because of the agitation, it kind of breaks down the piles that develop and it mixes it in with that cocoa core or whatever material you put inside. So you, it really manages the odors and the amount of material for a long time. You can use this for weeks or months, depending on how often you use it. Back inside is a charcoal canister with a fan. We've never even plugged that in, and there was no odors that we had to contend with. This really manages odors extremely well, but if you do plug it in, um, a 12 volt system, it'll just run that fan uh, and run it through this charcoal container. Easy to use. I, I, we never found that necessary. The P container is also easy to remove and go dump. You simply remove the cap and pour it into a toilet or some other appropriate uh, location. Uh, it has a small valve over where the P enters the P container so that it manages the odors associated with that and easy to use. The, the other minor improvement I would make to this is um, to put a handle across these two, just a little flexible, like a cord or something, um, because if it's easy to pull out, but you kind of have to hold on to both. When it's full, it's difficult to hold with just one side. So I'm gonna put a small cord across these two so that you can carry it with one hand. Otherwise, this is really just an amazing toilet. There's a nine volt battery right here. So even when it's not plugged into an external power source, the P indicator, the little light, still functions. Um, I think that's one of my favorite things about this toilet is that you can use it in a completely off-grid, not plugged in, portable fashion. I can carry this outside to a beautiful Vista to do my business uh, or use it within the van without having it plugged in. 
and I still get the capabilities of the light. I still get the, the agitation from the manual agitator and all of the features still work. This might be my favorite toilet so far. If you wanna see how the rest of this van comes together, subscribe to the channel and you can see all the videos on how we're building out this van. Like this video if you thought it was helpful or if you're interested in a composting toilet and drop me a comment down below. Let me know if a toilet like this one is the kind of thing you would wanna put into your van. Thanks, we'll see you in the next one.